Hello everybody, my name is Mie Bakuya and you are watching the Hebron Hawkeye series, Life of a Band Kid. In this series, I mainly just talk about the different events and stuff I've experienced while being in the Hebron band. Now, if you've been looking at your calendar or have been keeping track of the months, you'll know that it is now October, or what marching band calls Bandtober. Now, the reason why October is such a big month for marching band is because that's when marching competitions start. This is where most of the fun stuff happens, actually, as you are competing against other schools, going against their bands to see who is better, and it also helps create the culture that every band has. Now, competitions during October are a big thing, especially because they're not just a come-and-go event. You basically do the competition all day. From my personal experiences, usually what we do is we get to school either really early or during the afternoon, then after that, we rehearse for a bit. That's basically just so we warm up, so we get ready for the big competition. After that, we start to get changed, and that's when we do like a mini inspection. Basically, it's just to see, hey, do you have all your stuff? Are you ready to go? Once inspection's over, that's when everyone starts to get on the bus. Now, something about buses is we have something called loading crew. Loading crew is important, especially on competition days, because they need to be able to, first of all, get equipment such as speakers and ladders onto the trucks but also they need to get the big heavy instruments aka all the brass and big saxophones such as the barry saxes and tenor saxes once we get on the buses we do roll call the basic procedures then we finally start our journey on to starting the competition as we go to our location since competition days are practically all day bus rides are usually pretty long that takes up about like 30% of the day, maybe probably longer. Since we're on the bus for so long, usually we eat our lunch here or we just we could take a nap you really do whatever you want one thing that is required on these bus rides is a little tradition that we do at hebron so in the hebron band we have a tradition that on competition days we always sing our show now if you don't exactly understand what i'm trying to say let me just show you a clip right here so yeah basically the show that we play for competitions is what we sing now this has always been a fun tradition for me however it it's been kind of going downhill as of recently so a little bit of an issue that we've had in the past two years or so my first year was honestly fine i had a bus full of people who loved band and was part of that culture so singing our show has always been a very fun tradition for me however since i'm not on the same bus as i've been two years ago i've been on different buses every year and now that this year i'm a leader i'm now obligated to sing i already did it before but now i have to take charge and let people know hey you need to sing our show we need to all get together and just you know get the energy to sing since i am a leader i've also gotten the role of being the bus captain of my bus bus captains don't really do much really it's just we make sure everyone's on the bus no one's missing make sure that the bus is quiet and not like screaming loud we also do the singing part that i've mentioned earlier basically we just make sure that everything's in order it's honestly not bad being a bus captain it's really not that difficult however after every competition and away games me and the other bus captain have to clean up the entire bus so that's just a minor setback but really Really everything else is fine. Now back to the topic of competition days and riding the bus. Once we get to the location that we're performing at, sometimes we wait a little bit, sometimes we go straight ahead and just get out the bus. We work on a schedule so we must do everything in a timely fashion. Once it's time for us to warm up, we all get off the bus in our full uniforms and hats. So we get in something called movement block. Basically we're just in order and in a big like group of people. After we get into movement block, we normally have to walk quite a long distance to get to our warm-up area once we get to the warm-up area this is where people start to get a little more serious people stop joking around and talking as much because people need to lock in and get ready because we want to have a good show so when we're in that warm-up area we do marching fundamentals basically we get ready to go out there and perform our whole show during warm-ups this is also when we tune ourselves so we just go to the side and make sure our instruments working all that stuff then after we've run out of time to warm up and we have to go get ready to perform, we get back in a movement block and we walk all the way to where we actually have to perform. Now, when we get to the area where we actually have to perform, this is where things get really tense, mainly because we're just standing there waiting for our name to be called so we go up next. So things are pretty tense here. Some people, though, get a little relaxed, though, because we haven't actually started yet. A lot of people get excited, too, because they want to make sure they have a good time as they're doing their show. Now, when it's finally our time to go up and perform, this is where we all lock in, and we basically just go up there and do our show. Now, I wish I could say how I feel during these times, but I'll be honest, I kind of just black out whenever we perform. I really don't think 
very clearly about what i'm doing or where i'm going as i said we lock in and so when i'm locked in i can't really think about what i'm doing because if i do that's actually what messes me up now after our first run this is where we go back into moving block and get to the buses this is where we get water we basically just get to relax and as i've mentioned competition days are usually all day so when we get back on these buses normally this is when we eat our dinner basically we just rest on the bus until it's our second call time when we get our second call time we repeat the whole process so we go into movement block we get to the warm-up area we warm up then we go back in block once our time is over and then we get to the performance area now you would think performing a second time would make us extremely tired especially since we already performed it once and we did the whole warm-up and everything again and so now we're just doing it all over but it's honestly an improvement because we've already performed it once and also we got time to rest afterwards so i would say that it's honestly better when we do our second run at least personally for me usually during our second runs we also see how we did our first run or we know what mistakes we did our first run this is where my brain actually starts to work and make sure that i don't make the same mistakes as before so once we're done with the second run there's two ways that we go home the easier option is we're done and we get to go back on the buses and we go home after that while drum majors are the ones that stay at the location so that they find out the results there's a second option where after we do our second performance we stay at the performance location and we basically put our instruments away get water get a little bit rested afterwards we go back into the stadium so that we ourselves can find out the results live now when we have to listen to the results live this is again where things get pretty tense we're normally standing in the field and we're basically all together just waiting to hear what placement we got while it is intense this does help with creating the culture that the band has as we're all on the same team here and we're all together hoping that either we made first place or that we get a good division and in first place with a score of 89.275 89.275 the 2023 Bands of America Dallas Fort Worth Mid Cities Regional Champion, the Hebron High School Marching Band from Carrollton, Texas. Now, my very first year marching, there were a lot of ups and downs. So, there would be times where we won first place and we were all ecstatic. However, there were other times where we didn't get the placement we wanted and we were a little bit disappointed. While it does suck to lose competitions and not get the results you wanted, I do think losing is part of being in competitions. Last year, we basically had a winning streak for most competitions. Hebron made first place or first division for most the entire time. While this does look good on paper, this actually did create a little bit of a problem. So because of that, that kind of led to our downfall as at the end of our marching season last year, we got second place. While I personally don't really care about placements or divisions, I really am just there to have a good time. I won't lie that the reason why we got second place was definitely because some people weren't putting in all the hard work that they needed to so that's why for this year i'm hoping that obviously i do want to win some competitions i'm not saying i want to lose everything but i am also saying that i'm hoping that we do lose a few competitions or at least get lower placements than what we initially expect and that's only because that helps with the development with the younger kids as they need to learn that you're not always going to win there are going to be times where someone is better than you and you will lose i mentioned this in my first video but this year hebron is going to grand nats the last Last time that Hebron went to Grand Nats, I think we made like third place or something like that, which that's not bad, honestly, compared to like you know how many bands there are third place isn't bad however i know that people obviously want to get first place however i'm not one of those people that care greatly about what placement we get for band competitions me personally what matters more to me is just having a good time with my friends and making sure that me personally that i performed as well as i could but yeah that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed i will definitely try to you know improve on myself and also help others improve since competition season started we need to make sure we're good Good because now the general public will see what we're doing but i won't worry about that and as for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video